I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you said you weren't going to do any more news videos, or at least not too many of them, and the past two videos have been news videos. All correct. But this video shouldn't be just another news video. Hopefully, this will be exciting. Hopefully, this will be unique. Hopefully, you will enjoy this. All those things might not happen. We'll see. On this thing, which I am deeming to be a show, we'll be taking a look at the LEGO Doctor Who set, the official LEGO Ideas one. I know it's been a while since it's been out, but I thought I'd give my personal views on the expensive piece of plastic. And we'll also be looking at the latest news, which I'm going to warn you, is two things that really aren't that exciting. But first, let's get a little question quiz fun time from Crispy. Hey there, I'm Crispy and we'll get back to Will in a second, but first, I have a question for you. Can you name the episode that this frame came from? This one right here. Get your thinking hats on and I'll tell you in a few minutes when I come back. Thanks. News. I felt a great disturbance in the force as if millions of American voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I fear something terrible has happened. Well, when I say terrible, I mean, I don't really care. I've got the DVDs and I don't even have Netflix, but Americans of subs oh, that word, subscribers of Netflix have been left to starve as all of the new series of Doctor Who has been pulled from the streaming service. Many are claiming it might be because the BBC are secretly, like, top secret stuff, setting up their own streaming software service thing for their BBC television shows. And you know what? I wouldn't mind that because the only shows that are worth watching are mostly run by the BBC. Now, on to some other news, some really exciting news that is going to blow your mind. Look, it's been a really slow month considering Doctor Who's not coming back till Christmas. The BBC, Doctor Who account, and I are only able to report on some promo pictures of, of Peter Capaldi with his new sonic screwdriver. Yeah. There they are. Enjoy, I suppose. That's all we're going to get till Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, actually, um, the, the Husbands of River Song DVD and Blu-ray has been released. Like, pretty much everywhere. HMV, JB Hi-Fi, American equivalent of those things. Off you go. I told you there's not much news. probably all thinking, what do I think of the Lego set? Well, if you are, you know, it's been like, like two months since it came out, so get a life and watch a different reviewer. But if you're still here after me saying that, let's have a look, shall we? Look, the first thing I want to say, though, is the box itself. Oh, there's so much dust here. Heavy duty box. Some of the Lego set boxes are rather flimsy and it's, it's designed in such an eloquent way, as you can see. Um, I've already constructed the set. Uh, it comes in individual bags that you have to then empty out and then go, oh god, I've put it all into one pile and I don't know what piece is pe pe So my suggestion is get a Tupperware box with the individual sort of segments because despite the size of this set, there is a lot of pieces and a lot of them are small. Start off by creating it because one of the best things about this box is because it's so heavy duty and because you don't really break a seal, um, you can keep all the contents of the set inside of it and um, deconstruct it if you haven't found space for it just yet. If you do want to see the design process uh, and the way this whole set comes together, you can of course look over on Radio Times and I'm sure there's numerous different people who have done time-lapse videos of this being constructed. So I'll kick it off with looking at this, which is the main console itself. and. It's beautiful. There are many printed pieces on here, uh, a few of them I recognise from like Cops and uh, a few different LEGO City sets, but this time um, they have included like the, I don't know, that's not the Gunji stick your fingers in um, telepathic circuits, but they have included this circular section which is definitely a part of the TARDIS console. Oh, and I should mention that there is not a single sticker in this set, which some people seem to love stickers in LEGO sets. I do not, because 
it means that you can screw up the set and it's not the Lego company's fault. But there's not as many levers as I was hoping for, there's like one here and another one here which is the big takeoff lever which is really cool and the fact that you even have the side panels and of course it's a condensed version of the, the actual console room it's simple and it, and it gives off the right sort of feel of the control room. That's just one part of this Lego set. The next part is the TARDIS itself. And again, the fact there's no stickers means you can't screw up the windows and make them look off skew. Whee! The fact that it's, it's all individual pieces and not like fabricated uh, specifically for this set is just beautiful. I'm in awe of what they've accomplished with this, but that's not the reason it's amazing, is the roof can come off, you can cock, not like that, pull up half of the signage, uh, and then open it up like that, and suddenly you have the TARDIS interior, which then lines up beautifully with this. You've got the TARDIS doors leading in, and it's just brilliant, and the fact that you can look at it from both sides and it all makes sense. They actually gave us printed pieces, again, of the white interior doors. It would have been great if more of these sorts of panels could have existed that you could have slid into um, the surroundings of the set, but one of the things that a lot of LEGO sets do have a problem with, such as the Star Wars sets, is um, interiors and they become enclosed, there's lots of detail but you can't see it. Um, so with this set, if it had done the full round enclosure, it probably wouldn't look as 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 aesthetically. It probably wouldn't look as aesthetically pleasing as this open edge design because there's so many figures you need to fit them in somewhere. We'll start off with Capaldi uh, and he's in the regeneration outfit. I will admit the complaints that it doesn't even bear a bow tie is annoying because you can't swap it out between Smith and have two of Matt Smith's outfits. It's understandable but this is screen accurate for Capaldi at least. If it had had the bow tie, you couldn't have put on Capaldi and it wouldn't have been screen accurate, so don't complain. And it's great because not even the three and three quarter inch action figures got this costume accurate, so well done Lego group. I love Clara, she looks great, I mean I don't like the character, I like this action figure. The level of detail of Clara's costume is brilliant and it just, it sums up her deep breath Time of the Doctor costume perfectly. Matt Smith! He, he looks great. The head looks great, the fact that we've got the reversible faces, which all of them do have. The jacket is the same length as his, his, his purple jacket. Not right. Um, I know, it, it's just, I, I don't understand quite why it happened, but it did. Um, and also his trousers are brown for some reason. I don't know, maybe they based it on the Pop Funko figures because the Eleven and Fez is got a weird sort of brown hue to the trousers. I don't know what happened, um, but a simple fix is to get a pair of black trousers and put them for his, his uh, legs because then A, it cuts off the extended jacket and B, it's black trousers as they should be. We also have a weeping angel which looks terrifying and the fact that the wings are actually articulated is brilliant. Um, And of course two Daleks, which look brilliant, um, both of them identical. Uh, I've added a little blue uh, stud onto this one, like it's an extermination thing. So that's a thing that you can do when you have spare parts, which there was quite a few. That is the set in summary. It also comes with a, a, a second monitor, but I've, I just feel like it's an overkill, although it is accurate. Um, I think the, the single one just melds well with its uh, simplified version of the set. So overall, I realise that right now these sets are going for horrendous prices on eBay, and it's going to be difficult to purchase, but do I think above $100 this set's worth it? To be honest, yes. Um, at the moment, as it stands, it's the only LEGO set for Doctor Who that has been created. I mean, you can buy the smaller packs for LEGO Dimensions, but it's the only way you can get this full-size TARDIS that um, melds with the console room, and it's the only way you can get the console room. So, I think above $100, yes. Above $200, maybe not. I don't think it is worthy of a set such as the Millennium Falcon, which is a much larger build with many more minifigures. I think if you can get this between $100 to $150 or lower, buy it. Don't even think about it because this will be a set which will be a um insurance. It's like 
you, you buy this set, you give it to your grandchildren one day, they'll sell it and it'll be for $6,000. I might be exaggerating. I don't live in the future. But yes, this set. Don't ever, don't ever look at that face again. Oh, Crispy. Um, and... Hey there, I'm Crispy. Last time I saw you, I asked you which episode this picture was from. And the winner is... Journey to the center of the TARDIS and Time Heist. That, that can't be correct. We can't have two episodes. Oh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm being told that it's in both episodes. That's right. That shot there is in both episodes. They just reused the shot. Well done, Doctor Who. Well done. Back to you, Will. Good on you, Crispy. It's great to have you on the show. No answer. Anyway, that was a show. I know, because we had a special guest, we had a review, we had news, it was like the Colbert Report, except less exciting. But yes, Tina Time Lord is back, and I forgot to get a, a mug. That was an episode of Tina Time Lord, the first one in almost three years. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try and do these more regularly, and uh, coming up, I'm gonna stop saying, and uh, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. That's not my thing. I have to get up to do this. So you make sure you jump over to Oscar's YouTube channel and give him a subscribe, or at least watch some of his videos. He's been making some great Doctor Who content frequently. He's someone to look up to.